So we are going to learn how to calculate the resultant of two vectors. We have a vector y equals 4 and a vector in x equals 3. When I have these two vectors together, I will have a resultant that's going to be going to the north a little bit and to the east another bit. Pythagoras tells us. The square of the hypotenuse, that will be this one, equals the square of the sides that form this triangle. So I'm going to call this x and I'm going to call this y. The resultant is going to be called letter r. And this is what we are trying to find. We also need to find the angle for the value. Following Pythagoras, I can see that r or the hypotenuse is going to be the square root of the two sides is going to be x squared plus y squared. When we plug in the numbers, I will get the square root of 3 squared, 9, plus 4 squared, 16. So r is going to be the square of 25. This brings us a value of r equal to 5. Now, this is still not completely showing what the value of r is. I mean, this is the magnitude. So I can see that r is going to be a magnitude of 5, but I need to know what the angle is. If you remember, the tangent of an angle equals the opposite over adjacent side. So I'm going to have that the opposite for this angle is going to be 4, and the adjacent side for this angle is actually going to be 3. So I shall have the number 4 over 3. When I do the division for over 3, I will get 1.33. But this is still not the angle. This is the tangent of the angle. So I need to do tangent to the minus 1 of 1.33. And this is what's going to give me an angle of 53.13 degrees. So now I have my answer, the resultant value of having x 3 and y of 4 is going to be equal to 5 comma 53.3 degrees. What this is indicating is a value of a resultant that is aligned this way, going up and to the right, 53.3 degrees, and the size is going to be equal to 5.